What's up, guys? This is Kefis. Welcome to Classic Course, Leveling Edition, where we take a brief look at a specific class from WoW Classic and go over the key abilities that you will want to make use of as you're leveling up. So if you're not too familiar with how to play a particular class, hopefully this video will help make leveling a little easier for you. Today we're going to be talking about how to level up a warrior. Truly only the most hardened of WoW players are able to weather the storm of hitting level cap on a warrior. Imagine for a moment that you are a paladin, slowly dragging yourself up the leveling ladder one melee swing at a time. Except now, you are significantly more gear dependent and you don't have self healing abilities. Congratulations, you are a warrior. And if you want to make it to the top, you will have to endure the most challenging and excruciatingly slowest leveling experience in the game. But through great struggle and perseverance comes great strength. And warriors that can endure the leveling process will become one of the most powerful and valuable classes in the game. So if you think you've got what it takes, I'm here to help get you started with the basics of leveling a warrior in Classic. Starting off at level 1, your primary means of dealing damage will simply be through your auto melee attacks. Auto attacks will be one of your primary methods for generating rage, which you will be able to spend on other abilities that you will unlock. Your first ability is called Heroic Strike. This ability consumes rage and replaces your next auto attack to deal a bit more damage. The thing to know about Heroic Strike is that not only does it consume rage, it also prevents you from generating rage through melee swings because it replaces your next melee swing. One of the biggest mistakes new warriors often make is overusing Heroic Strike. When you don't have as many abilities to spend rage on, like early on in your leveling experience, it's okay to use Heroic Strike more often. But as you gain more abilities that require rage, you want to hold off on using Heroic Strike, allowing your rage to build up for those other abilities, and then only using Heroic Strike when you have excess rage. You also have an ability called Battle Shout. This is a 2 minute buff that will increase the melee attack power of yourself and any nearby party member. This ability will cost you some rage, but you want to make sure that it is up at all times whenever you are in combat. At level 4 you can learn the ability Charge. Use this at the beginning of each encounter to rush into your enemy and generate extra rage. You can also learn the ability Rend which will deal damage to your target over a short duration. Use this early on in each encounter to get the most out of the ability. At level 6 you can learn Thunderclap. This is an optional ability, but for how much rage it costs it's generally only worth using whenever you're fighting multiple enemies. At level 8 you can learn Hamstring. When used, Hamstring will temporarily slow your enemy's movement. This ability unlocks an advanced technique called hamstring kiting. When executed properly, it will help to reduce the amount of damage you will take in each encounter. However, an entire video could be made on this topic alone. So rather than trying to explain it to you here, I'm just going to provide a link in the description below to another video from someone who will probably explain it a lot better than I could. But moving on to level 10, you will unlock your talent tree, and you are free to build out your warrior as you see fit. However, this video assumes that you will primarily be following the arms tree. At level 10, you can also learn the ability Blood Rage. You can use this to generate some extra rage at the cost of a bit of health. Generally, it's best to use this ability on cooldown to generate the extra rage and speed up combat. You can also learn Sunder Armor. When used, it will temporarily reduce your enemy's armor. This ability can stack up to 5 times, reducing even more armor. Early on in an encounter, when your enemy has more health, it's generally better to stack Sunder Armor than it is to use Heroic Strike. At level 12, you can learn Overpower, which you want to use any time your opponent dodges. 
At level 20, you can learn Cleave, which works just like Heroic Strike, but for multiple enemies. So whenever you're fighting multiple enemies, use Cleave instead of Heroic Strike. At level 24, you can learn Execute, which you will want to use as much as possible to deal high damage, but you can only use it whenever your target is below 20% health. At level 30, if you've been following the arms tree, you should be able to unlock Sweeping Strikes. This allows your next 5 melee attacks to hit an additional enemy, so activate this ability anytime you're fighting more than one enemy. At level 32, you can learn Berserker Rage, and use it on cooldown to temporarily increase your rage generation whenever you're taking damage. At level 36, you can learn Whirlwind, which is a damaging ability that can hit multiple enemies. Use it on cooldown at all times, whether you're fighting one enemy or multiple enemies. At level 40, you can learn to use Plate Armor, and if you've still been following the Arms Tree, you should also be able to unlock Mortal Strike. This will become your main attack, which you will want to use on cooldown. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about leveling a warrior. Hopefully this video has helped get you started, and will make your leveling experience a bit easier. But if you're looking for something a little more in depth, like stat weights or talent builds, you might want to check out a very useful post on the WoW Classic subreddit, which provides a comprehensive list of guides for all things Classic WoW. A link has been provided in this video's description. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.